Hi, I'm Tracy Long from Tracy Long Fitness. And I'm Tim Church. We're here to talk about plyometric training, as seen in Power Up, which is the third volume in our focus series. We're going to show you a couple of exercises that you'll do in the workout. Now, the benefit of plyometric training is increased strength of the muscles, as well as great cardiovascular intensity. This burns a lot of calories and gets your workout done in a really short time. But we want to show you some do's and don'ts so you stay healthy, don't get hurt, get the most out of your workouts, and can modify where you need to when you need to. The first exercise we're going to show you is called a split lunge. We do this on the step, but of course you could do this on the floor as well. As you can see, Tracy is properly going to cushion the landing. One of the first things you need to think about using the ankle, knee, and hip joints all to soften the landing. This is the proper way to do it. Where you can go wrong is to stiffen the joints. So the back leg staying stiff and you land very hard. And you can hear how much harder that sounds. It puts a lot of extra stress on the joints. That hurts. That does. A modification you can use is instead of a single, single, double, you can go single, single, double, then change, and you'd be right there with the rest of the choreography. Okay, so the next exercise does happen on the floor. It's a step, power knee, land. We got the same principles as before as Tracy steps in and up, she's going to land and immediately soften this knee as she comes down. Another nice thing is getting into a rhythm where you can use those arms because they also not only help you power up, but they help you cushion down. Okay, so there you go. Keep the knees soft, use the hip joints, ankle joints, really get into the legs, and burn some calories quick.